right, hey guys, good morning. We are at Ubihibi Crater. It's our first stop for the day. Today's day two. We're gonna walk on down here and check it out. Ubihibi Crater is about a half a mile wide, 500 feet deep, and about 2,000 years old. We're gonna explore this. There's another site just right up here called Little Ubihibi. So we got uh, two ancient volcano eruptions uh, to explore today. So we're gonna show you guys all about that. Ubihibi Crater and its little brother next door are just about unmissable here in the north part of the park. They were formed over 2,000 years ago as the result of a massive chain of explosions throughout the area. Ubihibi is the largest of them all and you can hike all the way down to the bottom. Just be wary of what you're getting yourself into. The scale of this crater is kind of hard to, to tell up at the top, but as we're going down into it, it's massive. Uh, we're gonna have a, quite a hike for ourselves as we come up out of here. So we are now in Ubihibi Crater. We're about 500 feet down. Um, the trail, it's a little, it's a lot of gravel rock. Um, so if you're not, I would just say be careful coming down here. If you're not like an experienced hiker or whatever, or you're not in the best of shape, probably don't want to come down here. It's quite a ways back up um, and down. Um, it's, it's a lot further than it looks. So, you know, if you're in relatively good shape, you can do this. Um, otherwise, I'd recommend just staying up at the top, taking some pictures and video from up there. But um, this is a half a mile wide that we're in, 500 feet down. Um, in an ancient volcano that's 2,000 years old. This is really cool. We're setting up to get some better shots, show you guys the whole perspective. While we were at the bottom, we noticed beautiful lines and formations in the side of the crater. Hundreds of sediment layers formed over millions of years, all left exposed thanks to the huge explosion that happened here. After taking some time to enjoy the scenery, we began our very steep climb out. This is no joke. If you're not a regular hiker or in good shape, um, just going down is a little treacherous, but uh, going up will definitely kick your butt. So, you know, if you're not in good shape, I'd recommend staying at the top, but it is worth going down here and checking out. Uh, really, really cool down at the bottom. Woo wee. Getting back to the top was a struggle, oh, especially with the gravel giving way with every step you take, making every bit of that 600 foot climb feel that much longer. There is a lower trail you can use that's not quite as steep, but either way you go, it's going to be a tough hike. Damn. That's what's up. Whew. Talk about a hike. How tough was that uh, hike? Yeah, that's not for the weak. Stair climber master, huh? One step forward, half a step back. The trail to Little Hebe is just off to the side. And after the hike we'd just done, this one looked easy. So we climbed up to the top, and were treated to a stunning view of both craters, as well as the entire area around us. A view you simply don't want to miss. Hey y'all, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show and you want to see more of it, share the video with all your friends. It really helps us out. Every like, every comment, and every subscriber moves us up further and further on YouTube's algorithm, making it easier for us to bring more and better content to you. So until next time, stay safe, have a great week.